don't know where to begin with this because I, I feel like everything I'm going to say is going to sound like chauvinist and wrong and all of this nonsense. And I, <laughs> Alan's just this, like, I mean, there's, there's right. no way, there's no good way to talk about this from our perspective. <laughs> so, well, I, look, bottom line is okay when you're on a screen and that that's it, you're being judged and you're being judged visually. And in this case, you're being judged physically. This is just, this is what it is. And this goes for men a- and women. Uh, I remember Chris Hemsworth, when he did one of the Thor movies, he was just like, yeah, for no reason at all, they told me to take my shirt off in this scene. Now, granted, he did a lot of fucking, uh, you know, squat thrusts and, and bear claws and all that. <laughs> cl- mountain climbers. and Bear claws you know, a hell he- of an exercise. I'll agree. <laughs> <laughs> I was really struggling for exercises because I haven't done them in so long. <laughs> but, you know, he got in great shape because for whatever reason, you know, when you're an actor, they'd like you to look the part. And it, bottom line is you if you're going to be on screen pitching a product, they want you to be visually attractive. And she is. I mean, she's got a pretty face. She's got a badonk donk on her now, though. She put on, look, she put on a few pounds. She got a little curvier. And I would like to think that in this era um, where body types of all kinds are being more accepted, she'd almost be flattered that after putting on like 30 pounds since her first commercial, that people still find her wildly attractive. The internet is full of scumbags. But if we're going to go ahead and start treating the the bottom of the barrel as the norm, then we should just shut everything down now because the bottom of the barrel is the loudest, most vocal Uh, negative comments, get the most shares and the most likes. So basically I guess the point is, is we're never going to see her from behind the counter again. If that's the tactic she's going to take. But I, I think Alan's got a great point because I can see it in his eyes. I can just, I can just sense that he's got, he's going to make something. All I want to say is if you're listening, Lily, or uh, Miss Vagina Rub, you're beautiful. Color, you, you're you're absolutely gorgeous. All right, listen, you are you are you are amazing, and uh, I, I wouldn't worry about all this bullshit. That's all. That's all I want to say right now. I want to clear the air because I I, I think she, she yeah. I mean, th- don't worry about these mucks. Who the hell are these people? Who are the hell are these? <clears throat> New Jersey dance coming out of the coming out of the woodwork. Body <laughs> New shaming. New Jersey dance. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear Alan's point because he was already like shaking off my point because he could see it formulating in my head. <laughs> no, I mean I'm not even shaking it off. I I mean I agree with you. Like you're on TV. That's it's, it's going to happen. I mean, and men are terrible creatures. So I I mean I get it. But like, listen, AT and T girl, if you're listening, Lily. Uh, Let's not act like that fucking blue button down covered up them things because we've known you were chesty since fucking oh three. All right. Mm-hmm. Now you've filled out a little bit more. I think you had a child that happens, uh, you know, that changes your body in, in ways uh, which have turned out positive for you. Uh, so I think you should just, just relax. Just, I mean, I'm sure some dude said something fucking weird about your ear hole <laughs> or your fucking your, your your collarbone or it's just something odd but just you know shrug it off man you got that AT&T money yeah you're fine